Hey guys, hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today I'm back with my big, huge, ginormous Soul Tanicles review. Um, I've tried a very good portion of their hair care products. I'd say that I've tried maybe 80% of their entire line, which um, I've never done before. Tried such a comprehensive amount of products from a single company, so I'm really excited. Um, I've got a little bit of everything: cleansers, conditioners, deep conditioners, leave-ins, sealants you name it so we're kind of going to start in wash day order so first i'll talk about the cleansers that i tried from them um the first one i think i got maybe as a sample in an order or in a sample pack that i ordered one of the two and it's the honey i shrunk the frizz detangling shampoo bar and um some of the ingredients are saponified oils of coconut palm safflower vegetable glycerin, honey, purified water, shea butter, um, a lot of yummy ingredients. And here's the bar itself, this pretty amber color. Um, and I've gotten maybe four uses out of it, and this is just the sample size. And I think that I'm going to get maybe another use or two before it's all gone. So this thing really, really goes the distance in terms of um, getting uses out of it. First of all, guys, the smell. The smell. Oh, my gosh. This is one of the best smelling products I've ever tried, it, and I don't know what to even classify it as. It smells amazing. Like luscious amber, cinnamon, spicy, sexy. I want this in a perfume. Like, this smells so good. I love it. Um, whew, so the smell. So, it's really, really good. The detangling, as is in the name, um, funnily enough, it does provide a little bit of detangling. Every time that I use this, um, and any shampoo bar for that matter, I have my hair in sections as usual, and I'll start directly at the scalp and start to rub to produce a lather, and then use my fingertips to help start the actual shampoo action, rub it down my strands if it's been a really butter-heavy styling session the week prior, and just kind of work it into a lather. And it actually does produce a nice detangling experience when the suds are going through my strands. I finger detangle a little bit or as much as I can during every step of my um, styling and washing session. And I was able to actually get my fingers through my hair, which was like crazy. It wasn't a full-fledged detangling session, but this stuff definitely helped me to remove some of those pesky shed hairs for sure. Um, it cleansed my scalp and my hair very, very well. Got everything out. And my hair just felt great afterwards, very soft, it was really, really fluffy, and it didn't dry my hair out. Um, very nice shampoo bar, and I believe the full size is only 5 bucks. I'm totally getting that during um, my next Sultanicals order. I really like this. It cleanses, it doesn't provide a ton of moisture, but it doesn't strip my hair. I really enjoy this. My hair feels soft, clean, and um, ready for the conditioning step. And plus, y'all, the smell... Whew, smells so good. So that is the shampoo bar. Next is um the kitty, and I got some things from their kitty line as well. The kitty, I can't really read it because the label's kind of um wonky. I think they're trying to now make sure that all the labels are waterproof from what I've seen in other people's recent hauls and you know reviews and stuff. So um this is the flower power hair shower. They come up with the cutest names. Um and this is from the children's line, as I mentioned. It has really fun packaging. Um, the ingredients are really awesome, just like all their products. It has distilled water with botanically infused dandelion root, calendula, chamomile, lavender, linden, red rose petals, red clover, hibiscus flowers, organic aloe vera juice, tons of yummy stuff. Um, so when I first got this product, I opened it up and I was really scared about the um, consistency. Let me see if I can show you guys. It is literally like... Ooh, see, Lord, it is like soapy, I don't know, bath bubbles or something. It smells so good, too. Um, but yeah, it's very, very watery. So I was like, what in the world? So um, true to form, it is a little difficult to apply in your hands like a normal shampoo. You just squirt and apply to your roots. Uh uh, when I do that, I get it all over the shower. Just it's a hot mess, you guys, and end up wasting product. So what I do now is um, I just take it and I'll apply it directly to my scalp. So I have it, and then go through the sections and apply it at the roots, and then do it that way. I don't waste product, and I make sure to get it right on my scalp where I need it to. Um, despite the fact that it is a very, very watery product, it does produce a nice amount of bubbles, and they're nice creamy bubbles. It's not, um, when I saw the consistency, I thought it was going to be like harsh dishwashing liquid type of, you know, 
really stripping my hair but it wasn't like that at all it was like a very gentle lather I was able to get it through my strands really easily and it softened up my hair really nicely while it was removing the debris um, I felt like my hair was being lightly conditioned which was really nice and it smells so good I don't know what it is like a light floral slightly candyish this Overall, you guys, this is the best smelling hair care line I've ever experienced. I love their scents. Nothing is really cookie cutter. Everything's really unique and just smells good. It smells great. So, um, in terms of softening, this softens up my hair more than the Pooh Bar. I prefer it actually because I'm able to use it directly on my scalp like the Pooh Bar, but with just a, it doesn't take as much work to get the lather going because it's already in a liquidy consistency. It smells great just as that one does, um, but I feel it leaves my hair a little bit softer, a little bit um, more conditioned. And I just really enjoy this stuff. I really like it. I kind of see why it's this consistency because it's for kids, um, I guess. And they are notoriously interesting when it comes to the um, wash day process for sure. So those are the cleansers. Um, next is some conditioners. Um, I have the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioner. So they're deep conditioner. Um, I believe it comes in a jar option now. Um, so I don't know if the pump is still available. So... Let's see, it's got um, marshmallow, rosemary, burdock, amla, uh, chamomile, thyme, sage, coltsfoot, organic aloe vera juice, um, benchmonium methyl sulfate, olive oil, like a ton of good stuff, you know, sultanicals, yummy, delicious stuff. So it's super thick, as you can see, very, very thick product. Um, thick but creamy at the same time. You see it's not going anywhere, but it's very, very easy and nice to get through my hair and um, apply to it. So, um, it's really creamy, so I thought that I wouldn't need a lot, but I actually did need a good amount of this product. Um, I used up until about right here during one session, so um, not too, too bad. I think I'll get maybe another three or four uses out of it, but I did um, use more than I expected to. So I did my normal deep conditioning, apply a plastic cap, let it sit for about two hours or so, um, and it left my hair really soft. It had um, a nice amount of detangling to it. It... Um, left it feeling really smooth and ready for the styling process and I enjoyed it. Um, the only thing about it is that I did have to use a little bit more than I anticipated based on the creamy texture. I usually get, um, when I use products of that consistency, I usually don't have to use as much. So I was a little surprised, but um, overall nice deep conditioner. I like the fact that it left my hair so soft and velvety after I rinsed it out even. so like this one. It smells, I don't know, it has like a fruity scent to it. Not bad at all. Nice, pleasant scent. So, um, nice deep conditioner. Don't know if it's like a, you know, repurchase or anything, but it's nice to try out for sure. So, let's see. Um, next is the Mango Dip Detangling Slip. And I've gotten a ton of different uses out of this. Um, I initially purchased this just to use it as like a, you know, leave-in or moisturizer. And after watching Curl Girl Jess's review, she said that it was really, really nice um, when she used it as like a conditioner. So I decided to try it that way and I really enjoyed it. Um, my hair felt very soft. It helped me to detangle. It made it feel really, really nourished and nice, thick. It was nice. I really enjoyed it that way. Um, I would say that my favorite way is probably as a moisturizer on dry hair. Um, I put this over hair that had been gelled and buttered and all that stuff and it still felt like it penetrated all those other products and softened up my hair nicely because I was putting in like some twists or something and um, I really enjoyed that. This has um, botanically infused nettle, horsetail, colts foot, comfrey, slippery elm, blue malva, chamomile flowers, Certified organic aloe vera, um, mango extract, flaxseed gel, mango butter, vegetable glycerin, crombe seed oil, broccoli seed oil, precoxy oil, jojoba oil. Just a bunch of delicious stuff. Um, it's super thick. So let me see if I can get it out of here. Um, so here is lighter feeling than the deep conditioner. I can feel the water and moisturizers in it really nice creamy product. Um, the scent 
It smells very fruity, you know, mango dip detangling slip. I definitely pick up on the mango. It smells I've really also nice. Used the mango dip detangling slip as a leave-in conditioner with good results. Um, since it's such a thick product, it didn't sink into my strands immediately, but after letting it sit for a few minutes, um, it softened it up really nicely and left my hair soft and moisturized. It didn't have a ton of slip. Um, applying it as a leave-in, applying it as a moisturizer and dry hair, funnily enough, I did find a little bit more slip and using it as a deep conditioner, I was able to detangle nicely with it. So, um, yeah, very interesting and varied results based on how I used it. So, um, let's see. Another conditioner that I got is something else from the Kitty line. I think it's called Kitty Tanicles. Um, the Brownie Pearls and Bubblegum Fun Conditioner. So freaking cute. Um... The scent on this one is so good. It smells like fruity bubble gum. It's very kid friendly, very fun scent. And good for adults too, apparently. It smells so good. I love it. Um, again, ingredients phenomenal. Um, slippery elm, marshmallow root infused, botanically infused water, um, organic aloe juice, benchmonium methyl sulfate, subtle alcohol, avocado butter, coconut oil. And Dirioba oil, carrot seed oil, vegetable glycerin, honey, um, just amazing stuff, you guys. Um, I had high hopes for this, number one, because the ingredients are so good and because, um, you know, the consistency is super thick. Let me see if I can get this one because I'm almost at the end of it. Oh, it just totally got over something. But yeah, it's creamy, thick, without being too thick. Like the perfect deep conditioner consistency for me. I like stuff that's kind of like, um, I like to call it the Goldilocks of consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. And this one um, is really similar to what I look for in that consistency. But surprisingly, I needed so much of this, consi of this conditioner. It's like crazy. Um, I ended up using almost the entire bottle the first time I used it. I think I'm to about right here now. So yeah, I had to use a ton of conditioner, and um, I know that a lot of companies formulate their products a little different for children, like they're maybe a little thinner, a little um, less thick, I guess, so as to penetrate their strands better and, you know, cut down on tangling and all that stuff, which I get, but when I was a kid, you guys, my hair was, it's thick now, it was maybe four times as thick then, um, I'm going to have to show you guys a picture, I think I've shown it, my hair was out for like a Hawaiian play, and it was to here, like, I can't even, it was to here, it was insane, my mom used tons of products, so, um, kid or not, I needed a lot of hair, like my a lot of hair lord a lot of um product my entire life so um yeah and a lot of the girls in my family have you know the same hair volume as i do they we go through product like no other so um yeah i had to use a ton of this conditioner it didn't provide a ton of slip it was you know kind of meh on the detangling scale my hair felt soft after i used it for sure but not like oh my gosh, revelation, herbal essence moment soft. Um, it was just okay. So I won't purchase this again, even though I absolutely love the scent, but I really, really did enjoy um, smelling it on my hair. That was probably my favorite thing about it. So that is the fun conditioner. Um, someone probably with maybe, um, I don't know, like thinner hair than me, or um, hair that's not as thirsty. My hair is very, very thirsty. I need very moisturizing emollient products um might have better luck with it because it's a really nice consistency great ingredients so um just if you're curious about the ingredients try it out for sure it just didn't work out for me um so let's see next is my love the knot sauce the famous knot sauce um i did a full review on this which i'll post down below but long story short it's amazing great ingredients wonderful leave-in conditioner great on dry hair smells like cinnamon bun icing cream cheese vanilla fabulousness i absolutely love this and i found out that it now comes in a salon size as does the mango dip detangling slip um 32 ounces i'm all over that cannot wait love this stuff um so let's see the next kind of moisturizer that i have um is the marula maru moisture guru oh and after we stopped with the um Fun conditioner is when we kind of got into the leave-in. So this now is leave-in moisturizer category. No more um, conditioners for how I use them. So here's the Marula Maru Moisture Guru. Um, 
Let's see, it's got a uh, chamomile, calendula, nettle sage, aloe vera juice, vegetable glycerin, yummy stuff. Post it down below as I will for all the products. Um, I do not like the scent of this one. This is the first one that I'm not like ooh, in love with. I don't know, it kind of smells like bananas a little bit and I'm not a banana fan at all. So it's not horrible, but it's not my favorite scent. Yeah, interesting. So here's the consistency. Um, like a kind of thinner cake batter consistency. Nice. It's a dream to apply to my hair. I love it. Right when I applied it, my cuticles laid down and submitted at attention. They, it, my hair felt so good. Um, my twists felt so velvety and nice and this absorbed immediately. No residue at all. It just left nothing but satiny, silky deliciousness. Um, very, very moisturizing product. I absolutely love it. Um, I would say that this behind or maybe even tied with the knot sauce is one of my favorite products from the line for sure. I really enjoy this. It leaves a ton of moisture in the hair. It plays well with a lot of different other products. Um, you guys know that I always seal with a butter after I apply my leave-in. This plays well with different butters as well as um, gel, stuff like that. And um, I just think it's a really nice versatile product. And um, it's going to really get me through the winter, I think. It leaves my hair so incredibly soft. This is what I use underneath my hair when I got that 11-day wash and go. This was my leave-in. So, love the Marula Maru Moisture Guru. Great, great product. Um, these two are kind of um, honorable mentions because they've both been discontinued. But I remember in a comment in the past, someone wanted me to compare the two. Um, I see they're still on the website, but they're sold out because they're not available to have the option to purchase. But just super quick. The Curly Silk Tress Milk and the Kinky Silk Tress Milk. I prefer the Kinky Silk Tress Milk. Um, they have very similar ingredients, a little differences, but this one left my hair softer, more moisturized, more slip. This one was okay. Um, it lacked in those properties, detangling and moisturization, where this one made up for it. Okay product. I prefer this one, but they're discontinued now, and I think um, there's a new like Shea Butter milk or something that's kind of replaced those two I think on the site now so next um and I use both of those as moisturizers and as leave-ins so next is the butters and sealants um, I have a sample of the lock and roll twist and fro out um smoothing hair butter so this has uh, grapeseed oil mango butter castor oil um, olive wax cacao butter pro vitamin b5 jojoba oil sea kelp um, it's got some sweet orange, which I thought my hair was going to rebel against. You guys know my history with anything kind of orange peel oil related. My hair spazzes out, but it did pretty well. Um, I just get a light fragrance of orange in this, which smells really, really nice. So here is what it looks like. It's kind of like a hair butter slash pomade consistency. So there we go. And it just melts down to a butter after a little bit of rubbing like a light butter consistency. So I use this um, to add shine and softness to dry hair if I was going out. Um, smooth frizzies a little bit. It did well on dry hair. I used it as a sealant on wet hair and it did okay. My hair felt soft and um, you know I felt like the moisture was nice and sealed properly. It didn't leave it as soft as I have experienced with other, other butters but it did a nice job. I actually preferred it on dry hair. It left a really subtle shine to it. It had a nice fragrance from the orange and it was very very soft. I used it last weekend actually after I had taken out my twist and I used the extreme gel which does have a nice amount of hold to it and using this helped me to scrunch out the crunch and to um, add some nice softness to it so I really like it on dry hair um, I don't think this one is a repurchase because I have so many other butters that I'm in love with including the next one that I'm going to show you guys um, so it's a nice product to have um, I feel that the olive wax is good because it helps to really seal the water and moisture into your hair and add a nice barrier between the elements. So I think that I'm definitely going to use this up this winter because I think it's going to be pretty cold. Um, so that's good. So next is the um, last thing I got from their kitty line, the Double Dutch Hair Yum. Y'all, oh my gosh, this stuff is love. I absolutely adore this. First of all, the smell. It smells, I can literally taste the sugar granules in this when I smell it. It smells like, I don't know, just freaking delicious. Fruity, 
um, juicy fruit gum. Just so good. It smells amazing. I just love it. I smell sugar and kiwi and just fabulous. When I first tried this butter, um, I thought it would be too light to use on wet hair. It's a really really well blended butter and it's really light and creamy feeling it's not thick at all it has like a satiny finish to it almost when you melt it down it almost feels like it's got um i think it does actually have some yeah it's got honey in it honey is a humectant it provides um it gets moisture into the hair from the elements so it feels really really creamy it doesn't feel greasy at all like it feels like it's going to provide some moisture to the hair even though it is mainly comprised of butters and oils so I really like that about it so um, I have been using it initially just on dry hair because I thought since it was so light it wouldn't effectively seal my hair so um, it did a wonderful job on dry hair shine softness um, really pretty subtle frizz when I would use my uh, when I would put my hair in an updo I would smooth it back and you know how you have like the dry looking frizz it gave me like the pretty like I call it romantic frizz soft um, very very baby curls around the edges really really cute um, so I decided to finally try this on wet hair and y'all y'all seriously this stuff made my hair feel so soft and moisturized and conditioned once I put this on my hair to seal it felt so nice it was soft velvety satiny um, and when I say satiny like I apply butters to my hair and sometimes like my hair is just like whatever but with this the cuticles felt very smooth and laid down my hair felt like it was gonna be sealed and conditioned for the next however long and that is the case with this stuff it keeps it very very soft for a very long time I noticed that when I use this to seal my hair stays softer it's easier to apply my styling product because it's already in that smooth state it's just great I love it this is one of my favorite butters that I've tried this is definitely going to be in my favorites video um, of 2013 I adore this butter so um, definitely one of my favorite products so it's got um, mango butter, kupuachi butter, takuma butter, borage seed oil, kiwi seed oil, olive butter, mafura butter, meadow foam seed oil, organic aloe juice, guar gum, honey, potassium, like a ton of good stuff. So um, I can see how this would be really great for kids styling, um, like ponytails and stuff because it smooths the, ha the hair really well as well and it also gives a ton of shine. So I can see this being really nice on kids. Um, I'm very impressed with the kids line. I like everything except for the conditioner and even I think that has potential for someone else with different hair properties than myself. Um, so love the Double Dutch Hair Young. Amazing product. So um, next is a sample of the Curl Glaze. I tried this. I got this in a sample. Um, I used this on twists, a couple of twists, and I also used it to smooth my hair down. I think it's supposed to be like a very um, light holding to medium gel type of product. So that is how I used it. So let me see if I can get it out of here show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, it's kind of like a jellyish consistency. Kind of like flaxy gel almost. Really wiggly. Smells like lemon head candy, which is one of my favorite scents. I just love it. Very bright and fresh and citrusy and sweet. I adore it. Um, and it left my twist really nicely um, defined, shiny, gave a nice hold. And um, when I slicked my hair back, it was shiny, good to go. Um, I'm going to need to get a full size of this because I want to try it out a few more different ways. But um, overall, I like it. it. Smells great. Good hold, nice shine. So I'm um, definitely curious in a full size of the curl glaze. And last but not least is the um, Hair Sorel Napalicious Kink Drink. So this is basically, I've almost finished it, you guys. But it's like half water, half oil. And you just shake it up and spray it on your hair. And it's supposed to be good to use prior to roller setting or braiding or twisting or detangling or what have you. It didn't just, this is in that category of spray water stuff for me. My hair just does not do well with um, watery spray type of products. It's literally like adding just water to my hair. So I didn't notice this doing anything for me. I just mainly use it to re-wet sections that were drying out and it did okay for that. Um, the scent, I don't really love the scent. What is this like? It's like, oh, let me show you guys. When you spray it on your hand, it's not like super liquidy. It's just like, um, 
it's liquidy but it kind of stays there for a few seconds it's interesting I guess that's the combination of um, mixing it with the oil so I don't know it just smells really it smells like fresh I don't know how to explain it but it smells like fresh a little sweet kind of maybe like I don't know fresh cut flowers of some variety I don't know so that didn't really do anything for me so that is everything you guys um so let's see my top products would be the Marula Marula Moisture Guru the Double Dutch Hair Yum um the Sultanicals Knot Sauce the Moisture the Mango Dip um, the flower power hair shower and the um, shampoo bar so those are my like probably um, repurchases for sure yeah so those are repurchases but my fave products were the double edge hair yum the marula maru moisture guru the knot sauce and the um, flower power hair shower those are my top picks from Sultanical. So the other ones I mentioned are stuff that I would get during a sale, which they have very frequently now. In fact, they're having a sale um, during the month of November. This is their one year anniversary, so they're having a sale throughout the entire month. And um, I think they're doing something for Black Friday as well. But every week they post info about their upcoming sales. They actually have 30% off until tomorrow, November 7th. So this video should be up before then. But um, they're going to have sales you know, throughout the whole month of November. So if you missed this one, um, check out their Facebook page. That's where they post stuff. And I think they post it on their main website as well. Um, a few things. I know that a lot of people have commented that they don't like the wait time for Sultanicals. And um, I was one of those people in the when I first started ordering from them the wait time was pretty um, you know extensive it was about three weeks or so on average um, but I went on their Facebook page recently recently there's like something in here and someone asked why the wait times are so long and they said it's because they source their ingredients for all over the world and things are handmade and stuff like that and um, I have noticed that they use ingredients that I have not noticed in any other product that I have um, tried so seeing it from that perspective I get it so just um you know if you order from them especially during times where they're gonna have sales you may have a longer than you're used to wait time from other companies um because I guess the high volume of sales they're still a new company so they're growing so I anticipate that in the future the um shipping will be expedited even more so and plus um the ingredients that they're getting from all from all over the place I guess does take a little bit of time so um you know the shipping's gonna be longer than normal for Sultanicals. Um, the packaging, bright fun packaging, really nice. Like I said, check out their Facebook page because they have sales more than any other company that I have noticed um, in recent memory. So I love that. They have amazing sales, you guys, like some of the best I've seen. They throw 30%, um, 40% on some things out there like is nothing and I really appreciate that for sure so that's my review guys um let me know what you think if you have any questions and I'll see you really soon in my next video thanks for watching take care guys bye